Hello again. I'm going to go over how to use the warp tool to make a effect similar to text rotating around the globe, like in the Universal Studios uh, logo. Atmosphere, I'm not going to do anything special with it, since we're just going to do kind of an example. I'm in top view. I'm going to go to front. And I'm going to hit the space key, and I'm going to add text. And I'm going to add a whole bunch of it. And actually, let's do something legible so we can see some effects here. Text. I'll just keep typing text. What you can do here is actually change a lot with it. Uh, fonts, uh, all sorts of crazy things, experiment. Uh, but the key thing is here, if we're looking at it, you notice the text is inside the sphere. Let's bring it out to the front. And let's also go to the top here. You see it's perfectly flat. Let's give it some extrusion. You can do increments. I'm just going to do big ones. Tabbing out into edit mode brings it back flat. Now you also must notice that the control point is not in the center of the object. So what we're going to do is make this control point the center by using this button here, Center New. And there we have it. Let's go to the top. Okay, it looks good. Now the key thing is the warp tool will only work on meshes. So right now it's a font, not a curve, not a mesh. I'm going to use the Alt-C key or you can go to Object, Convert Object Type, Alt-C and Convert to Mesh. That is done. If you tab into Edit Mode you see other vertices. I'm going to hit A to select all the vertices and actually subdivide it to give it a little bit more vertices to play with when it bends. I'm going to tab out. Alright, we're back to where we saw it before. Now, in order for the Warp Tool to work, we have to have it in Edit Mode with all the vertices selected. I'm going to place my cursor wherever I want the radius of this curve, where the center of the curve to be, which I want right in the center of this sphere here. I'm going to hit Shift W, and it's ready to go. I move my mouse, will create that curve. It's important to note, though, that depending on which direction you go, depending on how you set it up, you might get the text inverted. So let's actually, I know that the text will be inverted this way. Let's take a look. And notice the text is all backwards. So let's undo that. Let's try again. Shift W. I'm going to go to the opposite direction. And now you'll see the text is going the right direction. Now I'm not going to do anything to these. I could uh, set smooth. I could subsurf, you know, to get them cleaned up a bit, but I won't do that here. I'll just sub, you know, set smooth, but hey. Okay, there's two ways to animate this. One is just centering this control point, because if we rotate now, we'll just go around its set object center to center new. It'll go into the center of the new object. And in an IPO window, just, you know, insert a key somewhere, move forward a few frames, rotate it, insert a rotation key, and we have our, our rotation. The other way you can do it if you want to do a little bit more complicated, get some stuff going for yourself, is let's go to the top view and let's keep everything here. So let's go to frame 50. I'm going to add an armature. And I, I went over this in another tutorial, but I'll just go over it here again quickly. I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to hit the Z key to see everything clear to go through things. I stretch it just to reach this point so I know where I'm looking at. You notice the root is at the center of the object and you can move around of course. I'm going to do uh, several things here. One is I'm going to change this bone's name by going to tab edit mode for the bone right clicking on the bone itself not the root or tip. Change the bone's name to something that denotes what it's going to do. Rotate text. It's a bone name, looks good. Now I'm going to go into the actual text object, again, that's now a mesh. I'm going to tab to get into vertex mode. And I'm going to do a new vertex group. I'm going to call the group the same thing as the bone. The key thing is here that they need to be the same. You name one first, you name the other the 
that same name. It doesn't really matter what order. Rotate text is the group I'm going to make. I'm going to make all these vertices already selected. That group, I'm going to assign it full weight. So all are affected 100%. I tab out, and now we can actually rotate this. And in not in pose mode yet, but we can rotate it and see that nothing is happening. And that's because we need to parent this text object to the armature. So let's actually do that. I'm going to shift, I'm going to first select the font, then shift select. So shift right click the armature. I'm going to do control P. I'm going to make parent to the armature. I'm not going to create any vertex groups because that's what we just did. I'm going to tab out. Now that they're linked, you'll notice I can now, let's actually go back to the bone. Oop. Let's rotate it and you can see it's rotating. But this isn't really uh, helpful because this is an object mode and to animate bones and